welcome back to my channel. Something just laughed over there in the corner. Okay, welcome back to my channel. I just got a little sidetracked. Um, the previous picture that you've seen is a picture of my nails with the paint on them. What I'm going to do is show you guys how I do my nails. I do have a nail tech license. However, I do not do nails for a living. Um, and I did have my nails as my nails up until um, two of them decided they were getting loose. So what I did was is I just took off um, my uh, overlays and I put on a set of tips about a week and a half ago. So I used just the regular tips. I lost this part, but they're from Sally's. They're the curved tips. Um, now this is a system that you can do at home. It's a dip system. Um, it will save you a tons of money. When I would go to the nail salon, um, even though I have a license, sometimes, you know, you like to be pampered. I would come out of there paying like a hundred bucks or better because I like nail designs. I did learn how to do nail designs in school, but I don't do them on my nails. Um, instead, I decided to just start doing my own nails at home and I'm gonna show you the system I don't know if you've ever seen it before but it is a dip system and it is so so easy it's something that you could either do to fill in your nails to get you through to your next nail appointment or like I do I don't even go to the nail salon I do my own and let it go so what I'm gonna show you what your need is um, everything I'm showing you is from Sally's so first off, you can use the um, acetone with this because I know a lot of um, acrylics, you can't use acetone. You have to have non-acetone. Well, you can. You can use acetone. So I took my polish off with that. Um, I'm going to link the picture somewhere in this video of this stuff. Um, was using the kit for the IBD, but I decided to move on over to just the Beauty Secret Sally Brand Nail Acrylic. This one isn't clear. I had, um, what was it, real white or something. I don't know, but they were really white. But I decided just to use the clear. White. So that was too white for me. That was just white like this. So I, um, I'm done with that one a little bit. You can see the difference. This is the bright white powder. And then this is the clear, maybe you can see the difference, but I like using the clear um, much better. Now, this is going to take half the time doing your nails. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you what you need. This is IBD 5 Second Brush on Nail Glue. This is all sold in the same section at Sally's. You can also get the um, five second brush on gel resin. It does not matter, either one, they work the same. I use them both. Um, this one is dried to the bone, so I'm trashing it. So I will be using, um, so I'm gonna lay out the stuff that you need. So if you're going from um, no nails whatsoever to um, tips you just need to get a package of tips if you want to do an overlay you do the same thing as you would by adding tips on you would just um, put this system on top of your nails so I'm going to show you what you're going to need if you're going to use tips this is a nail cutter this is one of those things that you go in and you clip it and trim your nails or you can use nail clippers um, I prefer those um, you're going to need several buffers I use the white block the purple block um, and this gray and white block here I know you guys have seen them and I use some uh, sometimes this tropical shine it is coarse 100 to 180 I'm gonna put this aside because I do not want the bright white on my nails um, let me see. And then you're going to have to use 
a brush. Now this is an old makeup brush. I'm not using it every, anymore. I will not use it again, specifically for my nails. So these are the items that you would need for um, doing your own tips or overlay. But right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in my nails and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do and how fast this is. So keeping my brush out, taking the top to my powder off. This is acrylic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and loosen. And this does dry very quickly as you can see. It's just like glue. And make sure um, what I do, I have a cuticle pusher, backer, or whatever you want to call it. But I don't have it in front of me right now for this video. So I'm going to use a nail tip. I would always recommend pushing your cuticles back before you do any filling in. Um, this way you get all the spaces in the back of your nail. So I'm just pushing my cuticles back right now and then I'm gonna do it on this hand so it already be done um, I hate when you go to the nail salon and don't even push your friggin cuticles back I'm like really so the important part about this is wherever you lay this glue is wherever this powder is gonna be so if you're being real sloppy with it and you get the glue up here then the powder is gonna be there and you're gonna be prying it off it is not as hard as it seems or that I'm making it is very very simple um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you you paint back here where your space is for your fill you start there like you're painting your nails then you go faster because you don't want to take too much time you want to get here in the back for your fill but you want to make sure before you dip your nail into the powder that the nail oops is wet and not dry so you just dip it in submerge it in there um 10 seconds so stay 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one we're gonna pull it out shake the excess off okay and it's gonna look like this I'm just gonna go ahead on to the next one fill it I recommend doing um, I do my nails pretty faithfully about every two weeks um, so if you're every two week type of girl then I would recommend doing this process to um, all of your nails twice um, again, and just remember, don't go all buck wild behind your cuticle, otherwise you'll be picking it off. You submerge it while the uh, glue is still wet. And then I'm going to pull it out and shake it. And I'm going to go ahead to this one, to the regrowth here. As you can see, I'm making sure that I'm staying away from the cuticle as much as possible and that my hands are not shaking because y'all my nerves are bad and then I go over it one more time before I dunk it this is the dip system this is the quickest way to do it um, and then I'll show you what it's like to brush it off and then I'm going to pull it out. Now, how easy is this filling? Um, if you have any lifting, you want to use your nippers um, before doing any of your filling in to um, get off any, you know, lifting where your water may have gotten under and lifted the back of your nails. Um, make sure you get on the sides. You don't have to get to the edge. Um, I just did that, but you don't have to do that. But make sure you get back here with your filling. And then I'm going to dip. Um, these are nippers. I got these a while ago. Um, they were very expensive. They're stainless steel. These were like 30 bucks, but you can get them in Sally's cheaper ones, or you can get them in Target. Um, and those is where they peel up the um, the backs. So I'm going to do my thumb here, and I'm being very very careful. And your girl needs some cuticle oil 
afterwards I will put the cuticle oil on before I polish so I do want to make sure that everything so I did my thumb so after I have done all um, of these fingers these not the neighbors I am dusting off all of the powder off of the nails and I apologize if you're getting a face full of powder it's all you do is just make sure it's fully brushed off you're filled in I kid you not I wouldn't play with y'all um, it works I have not knocked on wood broken nail I'm gonna do this system from this hand one more time and then I'm going to finish up the other hand and then come back on camera and show you the rest. So again, make sure that before you dip your finger in the acrylic, the nail is still wet. So you get your full fill. I don't know what that is. It's green on my pinky. I just noticed that. Um, I would count to 10 like I said. And I always um, put a little dab of glue underneath my nail in my original nail. Um, so we're just going to move on to the next one here. It does not smell. You know how you walk into the nail salon and you're dying and you need a mask and it stinks really bad of smell this does not smell I forgot to let you guys know that um, at all the only smell you may smell is glue but that's only if you're like legit sniffing the glue from the bottle but if you're not there is no smell there's no odor whatsoever my son is actually recording this video he has asthma and if it bothered him whatsoever I wouldn't even have him record this at all like this does not even stink, stink the house up at all I promise you um, and then the next layer I'm just going to just follow up as the second time here and make sure I got all my sides um, again all this stuff is from Sally Beauty um, it is a nail dip system it will be taking over these nail salons soon or they will be offering the systems in the um, nail salons but y'all don't get caught up in that paying eighty dollars for nails and stuff just don't do it because it's no I mean you could do fill in your own nails you guys and then go to the beauty shop and have them pay or go to the nail salon and have them paint them and pay for your designs because I like designs I just don't have patience for my designs so you could fill in your own nails and save yourself 14 or 15 bucks however your um, filling is and then just go there and get the design put on and it is gonna save you a whole bunch of money um, because this powder truly and honestly has lasted me or the other one has lasted me about five months and I kid you not I do this every two weeks two times so you're gonna save yourself a lot of money especially if you fill your own nails in because I don't know a lot of designs maybe ten dollars for ten a lot of I've seen them go high I've come out of a nail shop before paying a hundred dollars for a fill-in and designs and then a pedicure uh, just no just no and then I no <laughs> and then this one is the little pinky and I'm going to finish up on this side. Make sure she's nice and glue. And you stick her in. Don't do that. So what I'm going to do is do the other five nails real quick. And then I'm going to come back on and show you. Um, first, let me dust off these nails to show you again. So again, you just take the brush, thoroughly dust it off. You can get a bigger brush, a smaller brush, whichever brush. I just found one that would look like it came from a blush. 
out of the Sonia Cashew set that I never used. Um, just dust it off real good. I would say um, when you're ready to paint and all that jazz, go use your old toothbrush that you have to clean up underneath your nails and scrub the top just to get any, oh God, just to get any extra um, that's underneath. I'm sorry, not that's in the crevices up top, you know, because the toothbrush will get in there. Right now, I'm just um, adding a little glue to my natural nail to the tip. So, this is what they look like pre filed. So, what I'm going to do is shape them and do the other hand, and I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So, what I did was um, I, I forgot what I was saying. I used my Beauty Secrets file of a 140, I believe it is. Um, to shape and file the nails, um, I use the buffer. This is the order that you want to use your buffers. The white, um, the purple, and then this one. And always use this end to your cuticle part so you're not ripping your cuticles up. This is the one you want to do last. Believe it or not, it's probably one of the most roughest, but it gets your nails um, ready for... I went ahead and filed the nails... I buffed them so they're actually ready for paint. Um, that was a fill in. It took me probably 15 to 20 minutes to fill it in and another maybe 10 minutes to um, file them. So again, this is stuff is from Sally's. If you have any questions, leave the comments down below. Um, I'll go ahead and paint them in a little while and probably put a picture of them at the end of the video like a still shot and I'm also going to try to add in a still shot of each item that I use just in case you're interested and you wanted to do this system at home um, if you like I said if you have any questions just comment and I will get back with you and I just want to show you all this look at this for your heels look at this ginormous thing for your heels <laughs> anyway um, like I said this is the quickest and it is very cheap way to do your own nails. Go to the salon, get your own polish, get your own designs put on, but you saved a whole heap of money. Stuff lasts a really long time. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below, don't forget to hit it. All right, y'all. I know this is like the most horrible background ever to show you guys, but um, there's the nails. I do have to clean up the sides. Um, so they are finished and I'll put in a still shot for you. Um, the OPI color that I use is Infinite Shine, um, and the name is a Purple, wait, hold on, Purple Tulio Emotion, yeah, that'll work, <laughs> and my Holy Freaking Grail, and I'm going to tell you, I'm, Holy Grail is either, either, is either this called a Sec Vite, I'll put a, um, a still picture in here, it's S-E-C-H-E, V I T E. Look, Pike. Look, let me tell y'all something. I cannot stand polishing my nail, and then I mess it up. I want to flip out. This stuff. When I tell you, you see how shiny my nails are right now. My nails are dry. They are dry. You see this? I put it, my two coats of this purple on. They are dry. Shiny as hell right now you can also use this which I also love it's called out the door um, you can get it from Sally's as well or any professional uh, beauty salon this is about $8.99 but when I tell you it's worth it you put two coats of nail polish on I gotta get <laughs> this stuff will dry your nails in like three minutes I, I crap you not and then you see how shiny these are yeah so that I wanted to add in and then again this is the out the door you can get this I think in Target y'all I ain't playing with y'all that's the best two drying top coats ever and they got shine and they will stay like this for weeks for like forever until I take them off if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to hit it and as always guys stay blessed stay cool I will catch you guys on the next video muchos besos